What's up friends? Welcome back to another video. My name's Alex. My pronouns are he, him, and this is my channel, Pucks and Paperbacks, where I recommend LGBTQ plus books in themed book recommendations, and I do themed reading vlogs. I happen to love hockey, and today I am talking about the best books I have read so far this year. I have not talked much about books that I've enjoyed besides like book recommendation videos. Um, I feel like that's the best way I can get my thoughts are crossed and really recommend books instead of just like sharing every book that I've read. Over on my Patreon, I share my monthly wrap-ups. You can become a paperback pal by pledging one dollar to my Patreon. I am close to 20. I have two until I hit 20 patrons, so if you would like to be number 20, definitely go over there. You will get a shout out at the end of my videos. You will receive exclusive content on there. I have a Discord where we do a lot of fun stuff. We have a watch party. So if you would like to support my channel in any way, the best way to do it is to subscribe to my channel, watch my videos, give this video a thumbs up, give all my videos a thumbs up for more people to see it, share my videos with your friends, and to become a patron if you would like to support me further. And so today I'm going to talk about my best books of the year because I have not shared a lot besides my book recommendation videos and if you would like to see those I have a whole playlist up here where you can binge watch all of them. So let's get to the video. I have a lot of books so let's just talk about them. This is in no particular order but I'm just gonna grab the first book I see and that is On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. I've been talking about this book since I read it in January and really enjoyed it. It is about a girl named Brie who becomes a viral sensation overnight when her rap song goes viral. If you've been a follower of my channel you have heard about this book quite quite a lot. I love it so much and I love the audiobook because the narrator actually raps the songs when Brie is and it's fantastic. Love it so much. Then I have He Who Dreams which is by a Canadian, Irish, and Cree author. It is about a boy named John who discovers dancing and that is bringing him closer to his Cree heritage and it is so fun and I enjoyed it so much. It's a quick read and really enjoyed it. Next is The Passing Playbook by Isaac Fitzsimons. I actually have an interview with Isaac about the book so I'll have it linked down below if you would like to watch it. This is about a boy named Spencer who is 15 and he's trans. He's going stealth at a new school and he goes behind his parents back and joins the soccer team and he gets benched because of a law in Ohio preventing him from playing and changing his gender marker on his birth certificate. So he either has to come out to his teammates or he has to just sit on the sidelines. And it is such a great book. I love it so much and you can go and watch my interview with Isaac. Another book I read this year which I really enjoyed is a nonfiction book. It is Invisible by Michelle Lentersch. I read it in my video where I read the first three books TikTok recommended me. You can watch that video up here. And this was so fantastic. It is one of my favorite books ever now. Um, definitely up there in the favorites. And it is a nonfiction book about disability and just about how just discriminatory and ableist the workforce and workplaces can be. And it focuses on BIPOC women and it also focuses on trans women. It is the author interviewing a lot of them and just talking about their experiences. And I love it so much and highly recommend it to everyone. Another book I really enjoy this year is I think the last book in this series. It is Bookish and the Beast by Ashley Poston. I actually recommended this in my video where I matched TikToks with books. This is the third and I believe final book in the Once Upon a Con series and I think this was the best one in my opinion. I really enjoyed it. Queer characters, some bi characters, and it is a retelling of Beauty and the Beast and I loved it so much. It is still set in the Starfield universe 
and it tackles grief so well. And if you're new to my channel, I love books about grief and that is particularly why I enjoyed this, but I just thought it was done so well and I loved it so much. It was awesome. Ashley Poston just writes retelling so well and that is why I love her books. Another book that I actually recently read is A Kind of Spark by Elle McNichol. I read it in my video where I participated in the Among Us readathon and this is by an actually autistic author. It is about a girl named Addie who is in middle school and she is autistic and she's experiencing so much ableism in the classroom and there's a teacher so mean to her and so ableist to her and she learns about the witch trial in her town and she wants a memorial built for them and it's about her trying to get that done while experiencing so much ableism in the classroom. I loved it so much and I cannot wait to pick up more of Elle's work. Next is A Map to the Sun, a really good graphic novel that I'm going to be recommending in future videos. I have like two videos I'm gonna recommend it in so you're gonna see it a lot and I haven't talked about it much so I'm excited to talk about it here and in my other videos but this is a complex story. It is a slice of life where we have a girl named Ren who met a girl named Luna and Luna ended up leaving her and she just didn't get any closure and was like, okay, like where did she go? And then one day she just comes back to school and it is about their rocky relationship. And it was such a realistic thing to happen in high school. And I really enjoyed the way the author tackled that topic. And we also have basketball, we have surfing, and we also have a trigger warning for drug addiction. It's a very dark book, but I loved it so much. Another book I'm going to be talking about forever is Off the Record by Cameron Garrett. This is about a girl named Josie who is in high school and she wants to be a journalist and she wins a contest for journalism. She goes on tour for a movie and she has to write a profile piece for the main lead, Marius. A lot of M-spec representation in this book. And while Josie is on tour, writing this profile piece, she is approached by another actress asking her to write another story. And there is a trigger warning for sexual assault. Hello, I forgot to finish this video, so let's just wrap it up. The next book is going to come as a surprise to you. It is Party of Two by Jasmine Guillory. And I did not talk about this book on my channel because I meant to. I had a video in May where I read books recommended to me based on my zodiac sign. And then I got burned out and I never posted it. And I have footage of me reading it and then doing something with the book. And so I'll probably just put it on Patreon. You can become a patron for only $1 if you'd like to see that video, but it's fun. I actually have like a clip from that video up on my Patreon right now where I'm just going over my horoscope. So in conclusion, I'm probably just going to put the footage of me reading this on Patreon. It is about a woman named Olivia who moves to LA to open a firm with her friend and she meets a politician named Max and they like cake. I really enjoyed it. It was so fun to read and I am obsessed with this author. I already bought The Wedding Date and I have an audiobook from the library of The Proposal which I started listening to but I I, I'm not in a reading slump, but like, I just think I might be. <laughs> I really enjoyed this. I highly recommend it if you're looking for a romance and you want to start, but you don't want it to be very heavy. I really appreciated that she didn't make it as sexy as I expected it to be. So I highly recommend this author and this book if you are looking for a romance or looking to start reading in the romance genre. Next is a middle grade that I love so much and this is Me, My Dad, and the End of the Rainbow by Benjamin Dean. It was his debut. I read this in my video where I had my sim control what I read for 48 hours. This is an own voices book and it's about a boy named Archie and his dad comes out as gay and it's him just trying to figure out what that means for him and 
It is so wholesome and great. Archie and his friends go to London Pride to find his dad and they get lost. And while they are lost, they learn all about what Pride is and why we celebrate it. And it is such a wholesome book. I loved it so much and I highly recommend it. And go and watch my Sims video if you haven't. Next is The Henna Wars by Diva Jagadar. I loved this so much. This is an own voices YA contemporary about a Muslim girl named Nashat living in Ireland and it is about her coming out to her family and dealing with the disapproval and she ends up crushing on a girl named Flavia at her school who ends up culturally appropriating and they are running rival henna businesses. If you want to see my full thoughts on the book, I read this when I had book Bookopoly pick my TBR and I really talk more about my thoughts in that video because it is like a live reaction. I really enjoyed it. Just in case you need a heads up for the trigger warnings, I will have a link down below. I think that the author either has like a blog post or she also worked with the story graph to have all of the trigger warnings in the book on that website as well. So I'll have a link down below with the trigger warnings and where you can find them. The next book I actually read for a video. This is basically me self-promoing my videos that I wish got more love and more people watched. So if you're new here and you just have never seen any of these videos, here is like a whole list that you should watch. I have a video where I read YouTubers book recommendations and one of my favorite commentary channels, Jarvis Johnson, he recommended in one of his videos an absolutely remarkable thing by Hank Green and what a great sci-fi book this is. I love it so much. I have been recommending it lately in some of my videos and I love it so much. It is about a girl named April who goes viral when she finds this thing called a Carl. It's a sci-fi and it also tackles the topic of getting fame very quickly and it was awesome and I loved it so much. And if you enjoy Jarvis as well, please go and watch that video. I love it so much and I would just like for more people to watch it. Now we're down to the, to the wire. Next is a YA contemporary I read at the beginning of the year for a video that I ended up scrapping and I actually have the footage of me reading this book on Patreon. This is Yes, No, Maybe So by Becky Abertelli and Aisha Saeed. I loved this so much. It was so good and I feel like it's super underrated. This is a politically charged book set in 2017 in Georgia and we follow Jamie and Maya it is a dual perspective and I think this was Becky's best collaboration. I read What If It's Us and I did not enjoy it. So I was really glad that I enjoyed this collaboration. It is such an underrated book. It follows Jamie who wants to be a politician one day, but he has stage fright and social anxiety. And then we have Maya who is just dealing with friendship stuff. Her parents are getting divorced and she is just having some friendship issues and she gets closer to Jamie. It's like a rekindled friendship from the past. And I really enjoyed it. I think the audio was awesome. So I would highly recommend to listen to it on audio. There are pop culture references and also video game references, which I really enjoyed. There's a really good analogy with like the Super Mario Bros characters and I loved it so much. So I highly recommend to read this if you haven't yet because I haven't heard a lot of people talk about it, but I loved it. The last two books are graphic novels and this is The Magic Fish. It was just incredible. What an incredible book this was. It is about a Vietnamese family. There is a 13 year old boy who has been talking to his parents through fairy tales. It is all about the language barrier that they have and he wants to come out to them as gay but he doesn't know how because of the language barrier. It was just done so well and it's one of my favorite graphic novels ever. It was amazing. And last I have the comic Alex and Ada. I read this for my video where I read books with my name in the title inspired by Books and Lala. It's by far one of my favorite videos that I made this year. It was just fun and easy and I loved it so much and I loved this comic. It is about a guy named Alex who ends up getting an AI girlfriend sent from his grandma and it was just the most relatable book ever 
for me. And so if you want to know why, go and watch that video. But that is it for my best books of the year so far. I apologize that I have not been able to make like a wrap up or anything like this, but I feel like these kind of videos are easier for me to get across what books I've been enjoying. And so yeah, I actually do have a video I made where I did like a TBR check-in where every time I didn't read a book I put on a tattoo but what happened is that I don't have the audio from the second half of the video and so I just didn't post it so here are some of those clips now. <laughs> I went over to my community tab and I posted a very vague poll that included hot sauce, lemon juice, and temporary tattoos with no context and the winner was temporary tattoos so for this series, I am going to react to my TBRs and if I haven't read a book, then I have to put on a temporary tattoo. And I have accumulated a lot of temporary tattoos over the years from several publishers sending me them and didn't know what to do with them. So I thought of this idea and thought it would be perfect to do this. 19, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments what the best book you've read this year is. If you've read any of these books, let me know as well. Let's talk in the comments and don't forget to hit subscribe. I am trying to hit 3,000 subscribers by the end of the year and I would really enjoy it if you would become a paperback pal and join my community. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video very soon. Bye.